Hello everybody, Seek and Destroy here with another episode of Dota 2 Weekly. You're so funny. <laughs> so Ban it, you son of a... <laughs> Alright, joining me in order is Kelman. Hey, how's it going everyone? You don't want to, you know, go, go on Hi, for the next ten Kelman, minutes. And thank you for joining us at Dota 2 Weekly with Seek and Destroy, your host. Better? Yeah, we're talking about Lane, but... <laughs> Lane, what do you thank you for uh, joining us. Ban it, Dirt. Hi, how's it going? Mac. Brought to you by Diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Got this one. Vanilla. Vanilla, baby. Vanilla and, diet? Oh, yeah. No, it's not diet. Oh. It's regular. But uh, it's vanilla. Like... It's the worst thing in the world. Oh, it's so good. And right. Mr. Tracer. Oh, hello. I don't have vanilla Dr. Pepper or Dr. Pepper. Oh, I have water. You're a scrub. <laughs> that try, doesn't try look try like water. It looked like brisk iced tea. Yeah, but there's nothing. It's water that's in it. It's so ghetto. That's kind of ghetto. Yeah, yeah, a little ghetto. Okay, so leading into the important events of the past week. <laughs> oh, you guys don't like small talk no more. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with the uh, conclusion of the summit. So on the uh, conclusion, I think we were talking about it. It was actually about to start at the uh, beginning of our la last uh, Dota 2 Weekly. So uh, DK actually uh, took the first two games in this, and then EG took the final three, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Pretty yeah. Sure. Yeah. And EG went. even had to go through the uh, the losers bracket to get there, right? Is that kind of my understanding? Mm -hmm. I think EG actually went all the way through the losers bracket. Yeah. I mean, come on. And the American team, true underdog story. Um, question being, are they going to be that good during the international? That's uh, kind of what we're hoping. Well, see, here's the thing, um, and you guys kind of correct me. Uh, who is their stand-in for fear? Mason? Mason. Mason. So uh, the question is, I have no clue who this guy is. Like, not a clue. I've never seen him play before, but he's on EG I hadn't since... heard of him. On EG since March of uh, March of 2014, so he's had all of three months. All his games are uh, Dream League, it looks like. Championship League, Dream League, and the Summit. That's it. But I mean, some of the some of the best players have been like pub stompers. You know, wasn't Aki like a pub stomper at one point in time? And uh, Dendi, I mean, before he made it really big, I mean, he was just doing kind of local tournaments. So maybe this guy is going to be Admiral Bulldog was another one. Oh, down to okay. was it Admiral Bulldog instead of Aki? I think that might have been it. Yeah, but so hopefully, I don't know. Maybe he might be the next big thing. So, what do you guys think? Is this EG like without fear? Or are they the still the North American hope? I Probably. I mean, um, they played really, really well. Not just, you know, stand in Mason. Like, I mean, they, because he's technically not a stand in, you know what I mean? But he's, oh my gosh, they played so well. I mean, they were just, they were so solid. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I didn't get a chance to really watch it. I over reviewed some of the stats and all that. They did really well in the summit, but they did fall off in the uh, Dream League and the. Um, Championship League, which we'll actually get to here in a few minutes. But some one of the things that really, um, I don't know, I think personally sets him apart is so whenever Fear was actually a player, uh, one of his strongest things was, I mean, he was like the team lead, you know. I mean, he kind of had, you know, he was always kind of charismatic, and now that he's just coaching, he's really just kind of bringing that to the forefront. He's getting older for a for a professional gamer, so I think that you know maybe him kind of taking a step back due to health reasons didn't hurt them maybe in their gameplay. I mean, because they still had the contribution. Well, I so, mean, how this works because when he was in the booth with them, they had admins in the room making sure he didn't talk. So, what? like, really, you can do notes at the beginning, but I'm pretty sure during the match he had to keep his mouth shut. I could just see him sitting there with that look and kind of like. <laughs> well, they start. They started diving. They started diving past towers. Part of it, and the commentators were like, "Fierce probably sitting there in his head, yelling objectives, objective, objectives. You know, take take the racks, take the racks. Don't you know? Don't die for kills, because he wasn't allowed to talk during the match. That's so, crazy. I had no idea. I don't Wait, know so... if it's that or he was probably just sitting there like hopping up and down like. <laughs> I just couldn't imagine, like, just sitting there not being able to talk. Oh, it would drive me crazy. Yeah. Oh, especially you, my God. You've seen some of the other videos. Oh, my God. 
Stop doing that. Just please, for the love of... No, no we're just gonna... Uh... What game was it? The It was like when I first started doing AA, like, really well. That I was... Wait, the... you do AA really well? <laughs> so, Wait, yeah. you do anything really well in Dota? Oh. Uh, too soon? Yeah. Too soon. So, um... <laughs> He invites us, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, it's oh. run, one up there, Kelman. And Kelman will not be here next week. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the thing is, though, is that, uh, yeah, Mick used to always yell at me a little bit, because, what was it, the Nature's Profit game? I know you remember now. There's something where he went chasing off the exact opposite direction. He goes after a guy, and he just kind of looks like, I, I couldn't imagine just, like, yeah, I'm going to sit there and just, like, might be able to say anything. <laughs> I just I get so sad when I know we can win a game, and then we're just like, no, let's go do this instead. I'm like, but we should. Oh, oh no, we, I think uh, that's we, a huge... trou- we trounced them that game, by the way. But I think that's a huge, um, I don't know, just thing, especially for our level of pubs. You know, like you'll just win seven team fights, and then you'll go back to farming, and you'll you'll kind of watch the game slip away, and you're like, wait, what happened? Oh, I didn't get any towers. That might have been it. You know, you get nothing. Good day. It reminds me of the, that South Park episode where, uh, like, the Nate March is like uh, trying to show his kid how to like invest money, and the banker's like, yeah, we could put it in, uh, you know, mutual funds, and, and it's, it's gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, good team fight, and it's gone. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh yeah, I just I can't imagine. Yeah, especially with fear being so seasoned and all that. I mean, he's been playing for a while, and he's kind of designated himself. I feel like if he retired in the next couple of years, he, short of winning the international, there's nothing else he can really do. I feel like moving on to casting, kind of being in that role, would be really good for him. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to the Dream League. Anybody watch Dream League? I watched <laughs> parts of it. I, didn't I watch am it. watching it at the moment. Alliance vs. Cloud9 at the moment. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah, that's currently where we're at. Uh, let's see here. Uh, they actually had a Stage 1 and a Stage 2, which uh, I'll post on here. But uh, they're in the playoffs, uh, stage two right now. Uh, so far, it looks like EG and what is it? EG and Fnatic are the only two that got knocked out. Speaking of, but um, yeah, which again, after such a good showing, EG already being out, it's kind of like they're just like, oh. <laughs> right? Maybe they what, just... that, what is? I mean, it's the nature of Dota, though. I mean, it's such a hot and cold game, or it can be. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and that's what kills me about it too. Just back to EG now, but um, so yeah, I actually watched uh, I watched uh, Mouse and Cloud Nine play, and uh, watched Sing Sing do a Meepo, and wow, never thought I'd see that. <laughs> and he actually didn't just do a Meepo; he, he did a really, really good Meepo. He took I mean, a Meepo mid against a Nog, <laughs> and and trounced him. Like it was, it was pretty nasty. Like I, I actually enjoyed that. So that's one of those though. I is it want, really that the Meepo was super good, or was the Naga just that bad? Uh Meepo was really good. Like I'm serious, Meepo was great. I mm. and and I oh, sorry, I shouldn't specify. Like, I have no doubt his Meepo play was pretty good, but at the same time, I feel like a Naga has certain things that could have worked to help shut a Meepo down when you're solo farming against one in a lane. I don't know. But again, right. I didn't see the game, so. But I mean, at that tier, I mean, so at that level, like every professional is just really good. But there are some professionals that really just stick out. Dendi is like, you know, a crowd favorite. Sing Sing, I would, you know, I would argue is kind of at that tier. So if you have somebody that's just a little bit better than you and you're professional, I mean, he can play a meepo and he can beat you mid, and, and there's nothing you can really do but watch your lane crumble. You well, know? they were playing against Mouse Sports and Pycat. Uh, went Naga. It was it was a really epic game. Like I don't, I don't know if you guys can grasp the the um, grasp the enormity. Like I just, you know what I mean. I don't expect that, and like I don't expect people. Do I expect them to go for the safer people they know? Uh, for sure. So I don't know. I'm just saying. Props to Cloud Nine for doing that. Right. Uh, with that being said, I believe Cloud9 and Alliance, you said they're playing right now, right, Kelman? Uh, they're currently in the uh, the banning and the picking stage of their game. Um, Alliance currently picked up Brewmaster and uh, Io, 
uh, formerly known as Wisp. Um, and Cloud Nine has Tidehunter and Enigma. So I mean, Ooh. they just picked a Treant on yeah, Alliance. Tidehunter and Enigma. Who has Tidehunter. Treant? Um, Alliance. Now on Alliance. But the thing that I'm really surprised that we're not seeing a lot more of is Marana. I mean, did they already ban her out? She's, she's not been horrible, but she's not like that nerf was huge. Right, right, right. Well, she was so. I mean, uh, during the uh, qualifiers, I mean, for some of like the divisions. She was picked or banned every game. Yeah, and then the nerf happened and it stopped. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't even think she was banned that much. She was just picked, like right. every game, and she wasn't like, and nobody thought to ban her though. They banned like Batrider and Link, or like, and yeah, yeah. And well, that's the thing. I think Batrider is definitely a big one. But uh, let me go through some of these real quick. I just want to look and see. Uh, just like uh, through uh, Empire, the Empire Alliance lineup, uh, first ban on uh, for Alliance was Batrider. First ban for, or sorry, second ban for Empire, Batrider. And first ban for Alliance, Batrider. It's through the three games. Batrider is just one of those heroes. I mean, like, if, if someone has them, it's just, it's pretty much an instant initiation whenever you want it. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Well, that and uh, the big thing is if you're getting shut down in lane, you just go to the jungle, and then there you go. I mean, you've shut him down, but he caught up like you know, like that, and it's just... Oh, it's yeah, not... it's nasty. But um, some of the other highlights, uh, other than um, what, the Summit? Isn't that what this is? No, this, summit is... That's going no, this is Dream League. Yeah, no, we're Dream talking about. <laughs> Sorry. Other than Dream <laughs> League, uh, did you guys catch um, the Fnatic kind of... Uh, Highlight that came out that um, was an era. Era due to health reasons is out for the summer. Yeah, yeah, and that actually, uh, what was it? Fear, fears out. Fanatics out. Um, oh, was, there was another one, but they're not in the internationals. Uh, Power Rangers. Um, who was it that left them? Uh, can't remember who it is now. But they had someone leave out of uh, out of Power yeah, Rangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, What's his name? Um, find it. Hold on. I don't follow PR that much, but I. It's like um. Find it for me. Find it. Hey, burb. Go to two. Scandal. That's who it was. Yeah. So scandal actually left Power Rangers, which is one of those things. I think we've talked about it before. People. Uh, tend to come and go out of some of these smaller teams, and even the bigger ones. Bigger ones, too. It's just... It's, yeah, it's one of those things. It really depends. That's still, like, sad, though. Oh. Yeah. Uh, moving... Scandal. Scandal leaves Power Rangers. Yes. Sorry. Did you guys already say that? Sorry. Yes. When, when Kelman's, not li or Kelman's not listening, nothing happens. <laughs> just jerking your chain. All right, uh, let's go on to the big one I want to talk about. So, Dota 2 uh, Champions League. Uh, let's see here. So, Nox, er, Nox Kiss. Rox Kiss knocks out Navi. And uh, they go on to face Fnatic. Fnatic wins uh, technically 2 to 0, but um, <laughs> really it's uh, 1 to 0. Because Roxkiss <laughs> uh, gets disqualified. Yes. <laughs> I can understand wanting to win, but cheating in something where it's very easy to check on how you're cheating, like, it's like, I don't know. Well, I love this. For game one, uh, let's see here. Trixie, Fly, No Tail, um, what's his name? Hanny? Honey? Honey. 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 Duh. Um... And then under here, I'm gonna I'm gonna link this to you guys real quick. Or actually, just pull up uh, the Roxkiss Fanatic game. Oh, I don't have to. Oh no, I think I can do it. Oh my goodness, more drama in the Dream League. Cloud Nine just picked Meepo again. <laughs> let's see if, let's see if mm. um, Sing Sing picks him up. Sing Sing will pick him up. That might be a thing. I mean, he might oh, have. Oh, oh, oh. Who else would play Meepo? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, really um, so under here, No Tail, and then Unknown Player. I want to find out 
who unknown player is. I love that. And this isn't the first time they've uh, they've been caught cheating, wasn't it? About this exactly this time last year, um, one of their players solo decided it, it'd be a good idea to bet against his own team, and then take a dive on top of that. What, right. what, what was it? Three three one seven or three? Something? What was the? Huh? What was the thing that everybody was saying? Like it know. was the amount of money that he would have that he made. <laughs> Really? Yeah. It wasn't that much money either. I, I was thinking it was it'd like be like thousands. It, yeah, it, it was, was like, like 300 bucks. Yeah. yeah. It's like, really? You're going to bet on your own team? Which, I mean, I guess they just didn't want to play and decided, hey, we're going to take a dive. All right. You know? But, like, if he got banned for life. Like, he is not allowed to play professional well, anymore. Well, being... Well, no, no, in, in that, Star Ladder. Star Ladder. But that's like saying that you couldn't play in the American League or whatever they have, you know... I'm trying to think of the equivalent around here, because I mean, it's you know a big I mean? deal. It's yeah. a very big deal. Star Ladder is like the Russian forefront for this. Yeah, we like saying Kelman can't go into a Walmart ever again. I really don't go to Walmart. Uh huh. I had somebody that was that. banned from a Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm almost afraid to ask. It's yeah, yeah. Oh, it wasn't man. Kelman, believe it or not. Wasn't Kelman, so that only leaves like Tracer and Dust. Wasn't either of them. No. Is Anyways. It? Anyways, okay, okay. So that being said, Rock's Kiss is eliminated. Fnatic uh, goes uh, squares off against Alliance, and uh, Power Rangers uh, lost to Empire in the round three in the third round, best of five. So yeah, they got trounced by Empire three to zero. I believe Alliance and Fnatic. Let me see when they actually play. Uh, June 30th, so that'll be here in another two weeks, actually. So the, um, how many more days until the, uh, the International is actually live? So it's sometime July, isn't it? July-ish. July-ish, give or take. Do so, we have a set date? Yeah, yeah, I guess on July eighteenth to twenty first. Yeah. So with that being said, uh, they did announce the casters finally. I mean, is Fear in that list? Fear no. is not on that list. What? But he can't. He can't yeah. be on that list. He'll. He can't do it. He can be. He can do be on the summit. And all that stuff, and he probably any other thing. But as long as his team's in there. It's just, you know, it's too much a conflict, I think. I don't think casting makes it a conflict. Eh, I think it does. I really hope my team does well. Oh, look, they're not. Mm. (laughs) But it's hard to to be a big part of a team and not be biased for them. I, uh, going on the casters, I'm still most excited about Cinderin and Sunspan. I mean, that really is. They're... The, the 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 captain's draft thing that they did was one of my favorite favorite tournaments I've watched. Oh, ever. speaking of, did you guys see the story on Gosu about them uh, having a break in at the um, Dota Cinema oh, Studios? <laughs> Wait, what was that? One more time. They had a break in at the Dota Cinema Studios. It wasn't even their what? studio. It was their uh, house. No, no, no. Oh, it was, was it Sun's their house? Apartment. Yeah, it was Suns fan and uh, his girlfriend's apartment while she was streaming. Yeah, like, I, if you watch the video, it is the most bizarre thing you'll ever see. Because, like, people are playing, and then they're like, oh, let's go defend bot. I think they're getting broken into. All right, let's defend mid. All right, let's go on. And you're like, they're, no, like, people are dying. Like, this is... Hey, guys, this is important. It was bizarre, because... Yeah. But super cool to realize that, you know, part of how they uh, got through the situation and caught... I don't know if they've caught both the guys. I know they caught one. I of them. think was last just they this, caught one. This outpouring of people calling the Arizona Police Department um, <laughs> for temp for Tempe, yeah. Arizona. Literally, from they had someone call from Europe. They yeah. called someone in the U.S. that knew where they lived, and that's how they were able to go. But the plan was like they were in there for like almost twenty minutes, and you can watch the video of it happening, and then. Uh, eventually the cops show up and what their plan was going to, they broke into the apartment because they thought it was at some drug dealer's house and they were going to take money and drugs. 
they show up, they start taking all his guns, the computer stuff, yada, yada, yada. And they're like, all right, well, we're just going to wait for the banks to open. We're going to take you, Suns fan, to the bank. You're going to get money out of your account while the other guy holds her hostage. Um, and then that was the plan. But that's when the cops came was about after that scenario unfolded. Um, so it, it could have gotten really not that it wasn't scary, but I mean, like even more so because that was their plan. And who knows what they would have done? Like, it's. That's insane. Yep. So. uh for the ultimate protection, have a live stream going. On the moon, right? <laughs> there you go. Guns don't like, kill it's people. It's like a dashboard. Well, it's like a dashboard <laughs> it's, cam. It's a dashboard in, uh, Russia. I just really what took me crazy is people were giving crap to Suns fan for owning weapons, and he's like, "Yeah, I have them. They're all registered. They're legal." And it's like basically, I was just kind of upset I wasn't able to get to it in time. <laughs> he's wow. Like, he's able to actually. Well, you got to remember, Arizona is like the other Texas. <laughs> So it's kind of one of those things. I mean, it's just... That's on their state sign. It says Arizona, the other Texas. Yeah, yeah, you didn't know that? The other Texas state. Texas. The other, other white Texas? The other white Texas. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, yeah, this was a pretty big deal, though. Like, um, you said 20 minutes. I'll have, to, I'll have to pull up a few excerpts from the video, but, you know, that's pretty absurd. And, um... You know, I guess not everybody's pro-gun, but maybe pro-being quicker to get to your gun should be the way to go on that. Fair enough. But, I mean, it's really, in like, interesting. I mean, kind of going off of that, um, during the last international, it, like, during the entire sporting event, there was, like, no violence or anything, you know? I mean, you had these thousands of people in this, like, arena. And, I mean, if you go to a football game, you go to a hockey game, you go to a baseball game, there's going to be something, right? I mean, maybe it'll be one guy shoving another guy or something. In the entire Dota 2, like, international series that have happened, nothing. I not think that we heard of. Well, well, not at the main event, <coughs> but there's also no alcohol at the main event. Well, yeah. Fair enough. That's a big thing. I yeah, think that like, that's, it's a good that right idea, now. though. A good chunk of people. Alcohol? Yeah, well, but a good reason for fighting and stuff at sporting events, I guarantee it, is people get drunk and do stupid shit. It's just how it goes. And it's just the atmosphere, you know? Oh dear God! Where's uh? I'm sitting here trying to pull up the uh, list of the casters. Oh, now I had it. I cannot find it. Uh, send it to me on Steam though, if you can. Go to the internet, Google, dude. Google is your friend. Ah, uh, the great Goggle. He's the god. He's the internet god. Goggle. Shiver, Shay Nomad, Linezor, Zenora, Pirin Flax, Toby One Dota, 2GD, Statsman Bruno, Blitz, K Poptosis, Cinderin, Merlini, Coddle Guy, Mont, Suns Fan, AC, LD Dota, and Gods. So anybody that has ever casted a like league <laughs> is on besides, there pretty much. Besides fear. I really I mean I, I hate to say it, but I really enjoyed watching or listening to him over you know the I, I love listening to him. It's, like, it's probably is honestly because he wanted to focus on coaching. Probably. Exactly. Yeah. And and I agree, but I thought he was seeking a caster spot though. I think he right. was. I'm, but I think I'm curious. Yeah. Well that's the thing though, if you notice <laughs> about Flax out of all of them. Like he's entertaining, but like that's, that's why. That's something like the international, like I don't even think they're going to have most of these people casting is what you got to remember is they're They have the two groups, right? They're going to have the like four or six people who are going to cast games live and they're going to be the ones that are actually knowing anything about what they're talking about. And then you're going to have like Statsman Bruno sitting and Perian Flax sitting in the television person booth and they're just going to go to them in between the matches to be funny for 10 minutes, right? Like that's what yeah. they did if last year. If I have to deal with uh, Bruno and his open shirt again... I'm not watching the international. So I'm yes, sorry. you are. Don't even. Don't not hate doing on Bruno. It. Don't hate oh, on Bruno. don't like Bruno and his open purple shirt. Bruno's awesome. Uh, it's not always purple. Well, it's usually purple. <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's usually a shirt. Well, uh, okay. I'm um, just be happy he's not wearing one of these things I've seen floating around the internet on Nine Gag and whatnot these days, where it's literally just a cup that that will grasp a man's junk, and then a strap that goes around his hip to his butt, and that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Isn't it supposed to be, like, the new fashionable, like, bathing shoes or something? You guys don't yeah. have No. No. Where did you get yours, Nick? I've been looking. <laughs> well, 
Hey, hey, well, I'll just won't aim the camera down for you then. <laughs> okay, so back to the whole thing, though. Uh, yeah, you're right, though. I'm sure there'll only be a handful of uh, people actually uh, doing it. Like, who was it uh, the other, or last year? Uh, uh, Elise or whatever? I can't Merlini! Remember. It wasn't Merlini, was it? Was it? I don't Merlini? Mer Merlini's the one who dressed up as a cop for the Merlini police, because, like, tactical pauses and graph, like, is that what you're talking about? No, 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 it was the final game uh, er, with Alliance and Navi last year. I don't know. I can't remember. I'll, I'll pull it up. Uh, just... Did you yeah, just send me what I think you oh said? Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> wow, I'm not sure if I can show this. You shouldn't. Thanks, Bannett. Oh, oh Bannett. Going. Oh, Bannett, why? Why, Bannett? Because I wasn't sure you guys had actually seen these things. Yeah, guys. no, no, we hadn't actually seen these things. <laughs> oh, man, they're, like, actually it's apparently popular. Any G-string thong jock underwear. There's We're too many single, scripting single size that size title. men. Okay, <laughs> describe it, because I can't put it on there without getting flagged on YouTube. Okay, well, I'm sorry. New, new, Imagine... sexy. Men's brief bikini G-string thong jock underwear single-sided medium large or extra large. So imagine like a thong just without half of it. <sighs> imagine, imagine like just total embarrassment. Okay, being back ashamed to, to look at. And let's bring that on around. All right. <laughs> Only oh. half the way around, Kelman. <laughs> Oh dear God! We'll take a moment to actually. In... All right, well played. But and this, <laughs> this reminds me of uh, Kelman's uh, Dota play style uh, by. I only half play. <laughs> there. You have to Halfway pick if you want the world. Good. Yeah, you you have to pick if you want me to you know be good. Well, at the sad thing the is, end. I'm yeah. kind of worried about where the back half of that actually goes. To oh oh, know. it it goes. Guys, under... all right. <laughs> <laughs> so going back. To uh, Fnatic. Uh, actually, we were talking about the casters. All right. So, uh, yeah. So, who do you guys want to see in the uh, see in the final, like uh, cast the final game? I like Toby. I've always thought that he yeah, would be fun. Uh, Toby's just easy, energetic. I, but again, I like. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. Suns fan and Cinder. Cinder and Suns fan, but I don't know if I want that as the main event one. Just, but, but they were. I mean, like they're 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 entertaining for most games. Like, but Toki really has that big, you know, big call, you know, kind of a kind of. Oh my god! And they're taking the racks. Ah. Yeah. Well, he just <laughs> he gets just, you excited, really. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is. There'll there'll be a team fight happening, and Toby will just be like, and and you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then it's over, and you're like, that was awesome. <laughs> like, well, well like, played, Toby. <laughs> I like it because there are some that he's like. And they're getting to it, and then it'll kind of come back down with it. It's like what? Oh, <laughs> but um, it's it's a it's a you know it's a dry run. is what he likes to think of it as. Well, like I said, there there's like one person I can see on here that I don't want to cast the main event, and that's probably Shiver. But other than that, you know, I'm open. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because I know it won't be Bruno. I, I doubt it'll be. It might be. I don't think it'll be Coddle Guy. I mean, I can even deal with Merlini. Hmm. But I mean, you know what I mean? There are just so many like good casts. They really did do an elite lineup. And don't get me wrong, she was alright. She's learned her shit at least, but she, it's just that accent. I think I can't understand <laughs> her sometimes. <laughs> it happens. Mm -hmm. So, let's go ahead and hop into the uh, compendium, as we always do it, the, uh, towards the end of the cast. Alright. Uh, Anybody want to talk about the uh, Fantasy League, Kelman? Um, you know, I think the only highlight of this week is that the <laughs> Kelmanites happen to be beating Bridehunter. I'm not going to say any names except Mix, because... <laughs> so, <laughs> so Mick created the Kelmanite, or the Bridehunter, and I, of course, created Kelmanites. And uh, we decided early on that this was the only week that mattered. And um, I happen to be bringing it home for... Uh, the good old um, state of Michigan. So, thank you. That's all I have to say on that matter. And uh, we'll go back into the compendium. Oh, Mick's not even going to crack a smile, is he? <laughs> he's, 
He's, he's being stoic. stoic. I'm we know not that here. He's I'm not inside. here. We still can. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh, sorry. Man. I had to check something. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually gonna get my first victory against uh, Tracer of all people this uh, this week too. Yeah, because apparently none of my people like playing. <laughs> <laughs> all of my people quit Dota. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel bad. Who got fear? Wasn't that you? Um... Yeah, I got fear. Yeah, I traded him last week. <laughs> I just abandoned him. Yeah. Fear, you're my man, but play. <laughs> you're doing nothing for me. Yeah. It's like being, I don't know, like a, what was the saying about a one-legged man in asking contest? I don't know. It's kind of how. Much the it must be a southern thing. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much the whole saying. You got it. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that's exactly how I felt having uh, fear. I mean, I I know we can't help it. But, you didn't you know. even have fear. You had like some random. Fear. It's fear. <laughs> it was the same guy. Yeah, because yeah. my yeah yeah because yeah. uh, Mason actually he I got switched to uh, Mason on my uh, on my thing too for my top player because fear got opted out. Which eh, whatever. Huh. So that's crazy. Uh, let's see here. What's next on the compendium that we want to talk about? Maybe, um... We're almost to goal. I mean, we're almost to 10, 10 million. Do we think we're going to make it? It's going to yeah. make it. Yeah, I'd say we'll be talking about it next, uh... How long do you guys think it'll take you to Two million? weeks. Two weeks. Well, I mean, then you're, like, you know, a week out from the international at that point. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that'll be... Well, really two weeks? What do you mean? Probably. July? What time? They start July what? It's a month away. They start a month away, so two. It'll be four weeks from today, yeah. roughly. Die, yeah, they'll have ten. They'll have ten million. Well, uh, I'd say, hey, I'd say three. I I really have to commend uh, a Valve. You know, um, last year, I mean, this was just kind of like a you know something that they just randomly did. But then, I mean, it's just done phenomenal. You know, I mean, it it I I, I, I like I read an article and it said uh you know it makes it so the the um, the people that are actually playing Dota, it makes it so like they feel like they're actually part of the event, you know. And mm -hmm. I would agree, you know. I mean, I have the I, I have the compendium. Don't, all of us have the compendium, right? So I mean, yeah. I think yeah. everybody and their moms have a compendium now, <laughs> right? And it's just like a digital book, but dude, I it's yeah, it was just they really did a you know a phenomenal job. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it's one of those things too. I just find like when they're you, you feel like you have some sort of involvement in it, like it's just it adds, you know. So. Oh yeah, very true. I help. And I help. Uh, help. Uh, so, what else is on the compendium that we can talk about? Oh, yeah, playing cards. Anybody get playing cards? Everyone has playing cards. Everyone has playing cards. Everyone and their mother has is playing there, cards. Is there an <laughs> echo in here? I think so. Hey, everyone has playing cards. <laughs> is there an echo in here? I think everybody has no. playing cards. <clears throat> Something about playing cards. But um yeah so what are the I mean what's the point of playing cards I mean do you add them well, to your compendium or I I guess I'm kind of here's the thing yeah. yeah you add them to your compendium just like last year but the thing I'm wondering is once you collect all five of a team I'm trying to figure out if when you get you get a so you get a gem mm -hmm. and if you socket it it tracks but I'm not sure if it's going to be like the um, tokens or whatever that you used to get where if you watched a game it would actually give you stuff for it. And yeah, that's kind of what I'm curious about. Because, I mean, I got all my playing cards pretty early. Like, I'm done. Done, done. But you bought them. So you I had, like, I, I sold, like, two items and got it. What items do you sell? Oh, I can't remember. Like, like a five, like... Just two of my legendaries that I got from buying through the compendium. <laughs> well, you know, whatever. You know, though, yeah, if it's just two of my legendaries through the compendium and it's five levels, yeah. Well, yeah, 500 points, five levels. So, eh, I'll deal. I'd probably make that up in, I'd probably make that up in a week anyways, right? No, unfortunately. I've been going through the compendium without buying anything. Well, if all the gems, if all the gems actually matter, imagine if I go and auto-spectate. Like, imagine how wicked... Do you have gold gems on everything? No, just green ones. Well, then... Good luck with that. Yeah, what a scrub. To get a <laughs> what, only get an extra 20% to get yeah. items? Ah. Versus, like, you know, every time 
you get like a gold gem, it's obviously like 150%. So, you know, no matter what, you at least get one. You get an extra half an item of half the 150%. Yeah. <laughs> you get an item and a half. So, uh, let's go through real quick. Kelman, you haven't even done yours? Haven't done what? Items. Sorry. Um, or your cards? I mean, my, my cards. I You know, I, I've collected them as I've gone. Um, but really, uh, I haven't, I haven't really, I think I, I placed like three in my compendium just cause it really doesn't, I don't know what it does. You know, I didn't know until today that, uh, you, you know, that was a thing. Okay. Well, the Sorry. other, the other problem is, is that you have to socket them too. You have to socket the cards or the gems? The gems. The gems. Okay. See, I don't even have any gems. Well, but that's the thing. Once you get a it's team, you'll get them. Yeah. So, you get the gem, then you sock it. Yeah, you have them. to get a full team. But the way Valve likes to do it is that only, like, a certain people are actually, like, gettable. And then there's, like, one per team that you can never find. Well, they want to make it so it's, you know, it's not easy to get every, every team. You know, Does every anybody team. remember the old McDonald's Monopoly thing? You'll, never get, you'll get Boardwalk, but not Park Place. You never get Park Place. Park Play is the most elusive thing, so you never get, um, who get was it? Car. No, no Tail was the one that I couldn't find. There were a couple like that, but No Tail, like, I, fuck if I know. <laughs> he just sitting on Baltic with crap. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, uh, that being said, what about you, Bannon? Um, well, as I notice currently that one of my Immortal Treasures just sold for $3 and that packs of cards are only going for $0.14, cents, I'm buying a lot of packs of cards. <laughs> it might be more advantageous to go spend Don't four, care. four cents a card. I and... like opening packs of cards. I have an addiction. <laughs> childhood. It's childhood. That is. Yeah. yeah I mean, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Get out. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> get funny. on, get. Uh, I was gonna say magic cards would probably be there a you go. closer thing. Magic cards. I actually never had magic cards. I had. Yeah, my mom said they were de devilish and threw them all away. I remember that. They That's thought crazy. devilish. She got them for me for Christmas and then saw skeletons and threw them in the trash can. Oh, That's kind of awesome. <laughs> Merry <laughs> Christmas. Here's totally your oh trash can. It was. It really was like it, it was pretty much exactly really like that. It's fun. <laughs> so on your birthday, did she buy you a cake and throw it away? Yeah, because I was fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh that wow! Devilish. Jeez. <laughs> Rough that, that's kind of ouch, Mac guy. Do you want a hug? You want to want a hug? Want a hug? No cyber hug. <laughs> Take your hands around me because I'm too fat. <laughs> oh. Mr. I run like 10 miles every day. Uphill. Both ways. Both ways. In the snow. <laughs> no, it's not in snow. It's in like a half a foot of broken glass or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah how yeah. often do you run into a half a foot of broken glass on your way uphill? Every, every time day. I see Mick run. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, what about you, Mick? How far along are you on your um, cards? I've got... Got three. I've got DK, Navi, uh, Navi NA, and then Team Empire. Oh right. no! Oh no! Oh, dude, that was awesome. Sorry, I'm watching the Dream League, and um, at this moment, 21 minutes into the game, Cloud Nine, I would say, has the advantage, and their Meepo is just stomping. So, sorry. Uh, yeah. So it looks like Tracer had to drop out, unfortunately. But with that. I think we're going to end it here anyways. Uh, something I want from you guys watching. If uh, you have a favorite caster or whoever you want it to be, uh, just leave a comment down below and kind of tell us. <laughs> yes, Mick. Mick, best caster ever. Actually, that's kind of a valid question um, that I'll throw in there. If you guys want to see Seek do casts on his channel with some of us, let him know. And that might yeah. be something he can do. If there's interest, I think it would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah, we'll see if over uh, 20 people actually watch and if over one of them decides to leave a <laughs> comment. <laughs> if one person says they want it, we will dedicate an episode specifically to you. <clears throat> Just well, to you. But if two do it, we're going to ignore it all together. Yeah, yeah pro- <laughs> and probably call you fat. <laughs> Throw away your devil cards. We'll have fun. Oh, you <laughs> devil, devil. So, um, so is everything of the devil there, Nick? Over there in Bayou La Battery, Louisiana. We were actually, where was it? That was in uh, no, that was in Centerville, Virginia. That one happened. So not exactly in the Bible Belt. No, so it was did, like, did she? I couldn't, I couldn't do comic books. I couldn't do pen and paper RPGs. I can do anything. How so, did you turn out so nerdy? <laughs> like, like normal people hid pornography under their mattress. Uh, I hid uh, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Excellent. So uh, my only question is, um, <laughs> it was this, but it was the same concept. I, I feel like Stay she classy, Mick. You, you Stay know what classy. she gave you, right? She really, she secretly gave you tackling fuel. <laughs> it's tackling fuel. <laughs> <laughs> too soon. Too soon. <laughs> I think if he was eighty and we mentioned that, it'd be too soon. Mickey Boucher. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Oh, man. All right. Well, that does it for us. Uh, I'll say bye for Tracer. Bye, guys. He wouldn't uh, even say it. He'd just stand there. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and uh, go ahead and say goodbye for me real quick. All right. Thanks bye for, for uh, me real quick. Yeah. Bye for me also real quick. Down again. Being All right. right. That does it for this week, and we hope to see you guys next week. Thank you.